Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So it's been 15 amazing years of iPads since it first got launched. So here are 15 cool tips and tricks to get the most out of this amazing tablet from Apple. Just before proceeding, the usual drill guys, please do like my video and if you're first time here, hit that subscribe button, support me so I can keep making these videos for you. So let's get started. Number one is Safari. If you have too many tabs open, then there is a quick way to close them all. You don't have to do them individually. So all you have to do is tap and hold this two squares icon and you will get the option to close all tabs. Number two is copy live text or URLs from an image. This is super useful. First, if any picture of yours has got text, you can just tap hold on the text and it'll give you an option to copy. Now, if there is a link which is pasted in the comment section on social media, then most apps do not allow you to copy or tab that link. In that case, all you have to do is hit the power button and volume up button to take a screenshot. Now, go to that image, simply tap and hold on it and it'll give you an option to open that link in Safari. It's really useful if you like a product which you saw on social media and the creator has pinned the link to it in the comment section, like how I've done it here on Instagram, then Instagram doesn't allow you to click on external links. So just take a screenshot, tap and hold to go to that product. Still staying on screenshot, I find it super easy to take the screenshot using the Apple Pencil instead of pressing that power and volume up button. So simply swipe like this from the bottom left using your Apple Pencil and it takes a screenshot. You can also tap this icon here and that highlights all the text which is available on your screenshot and you can easily hit this copy text button to copy all of that. Number four is you can use the spotlight search on iPad to do basic math calculations and conversions. So just pull it from the middle to get the spotlight search option and then type in your math question or even ask conversions like this. Number five, power off button is now in your control center. So you don't have to do that volume up and down and power button hold to shut down your iPad. You can just swipe from the top right corner and the icon is right here on the top and you need to long press it to trigger that power off screen. Number six, now YouTube app, mostly the free version, does not allow you to play all videos in the background, but open the same on Safari, play a video in full screen mode, and then swipe off to go to home screen, and you can see the video nicely plays in the background, allowing you to browse and work on the side whilst it is playing. Number seven, let's talk about copy, paste, undo, and redo using gestures. So when you select a text like this, use three fingers to pinch like this to copy and then pinch outwards with that same three fingers to paste. And then you can use that same three fingers to swipe left like this to undo and swipe right like this to redo. Number eight, if you don't want to use these gestures and rather prefer the menu, just hold down with your three fingers and you will get that full pop-up menu. Number nine, with the latest iPad OS version, you can lock any app using Face ID and the same goes with Hidden Pictures album. But there is one app which allows you to set a total custom password irrespective of your main iPad's password and Face ID and that app is Notes. So go to settings, find Notes app, then select use custom password, then set your password, but turn off use Face ID as well. Then go to notes, tap and hold on any notes entry like this and choose lock. It then asks you to enter that custom password, which you just set. And then you get the lock icon here. Just tap on that and that's it. You've locked your notes entry using a total custom password, which is not related to the main password of your iPad or Face ID. I seriously hope Apple would bring this feature to files and the photos app as well. Number 10, you can pretty much turn any lengthy article on a website into an audiobook. Just tap on this icon on the Safari toolbar and then choose listen on that page. Then you'll get Siri to read that whole page for you. And then Steve said, let there be an iPhone. You can even choose to change the speed of that speaking rate, making it slower or faster. Number 11, the home bar can now do quite a few useful things. Just hold it like this and swipe and you can easily switch between your apps. Hold it and swipe diagonally like this to enter into the multitasking view and then tap twice on it to invoke the new redesigned Siri. That is pretty nifty. You don't have to press and hold the power button in order to get Siri. Number 12, you can now turn any supported app into a widget. 
just long press and hold the app and then you get to choose a few sizes and choose the relevant one just like that the app becomes into a widget to get it back as an app long press again on the widget and choose this four squares icon and it becomes an app again number 13 when using an external keyboard or the magic keyboard case on the ipad there are so many useful shortcuts like when on safari hit command t to open a new tab and when you already scroll quite to the bottom of a page hit command l and that highlights the top url bar so you can go to a different website and just press and hold command key and it shows all the keyboard combinations you can use this on any app or even on the home screen to see all the options available on that particular instance number 14 you can create multiple profiles on safari so you can keep your browsing tabs separate just head to settings search for safari and then go to profiles here you can add new ones as needed and when you're on safari you can see your current profile here just tap on that and that allows you to switch your profiles like how i've done here my personal browsing is all separate and i have another profile for work and finally it's number 15 display zoom now you feel that the default layout of the ipad is too large and everything uses more space then go to settings display and brightness and then display zoom here you can choose more space that readjusts everything to give you a bit more room here let me show you this article on my notepad normally i can see it up till here but with the more space setting it shows almost two to three extra paragraphs without scrolling so if your eyes can adjust to this then you can make use of that extra space on the ipad it's very useful especially on the bigger sized ipads so that's it guys 15 amazing years of ipad this device has always been with me from day it launched back in 2010 i simply cannot go even a single day without my ipad that's how much i love this tablet from apple and i hope you like these 15 tips and tricks on the ipad just comment down below and let me know which one you didn't know and found it useful also guys if you are enjoying my content please hit that like button show support and subscribe to my channel so i can keep making these videos for you there are few new Apple products on the horizon. So I'm super excited about them and I'll try to get them and review them on my channel. So be subscribed, turn on that notification bell so you get notified as soon as those videos are up. That's all for now, guys. If you've stayed until the end, thanks a lot for watching my video until the end. I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.